Here is where I would put a joke about Mike Tyson, but I think this whole fight was a joke. Welcome to Random Events in History, by the way. We are going to June 28th, 1997, for the boxing match Hollyfield vs. Tyson number 2. Let's begin. A little background first. Mike Tyson made his professional boxing debut in 1985 and had a winning streak of 37-0 while accumulating five heavyweight titles before losing them in a bout with Buster Douglas that went 10 rounds. To get an idea of how tough Mike Tyson was, go watch his 1988 match with Michael Spinks. To get the same idea for Hollyfield, watch his 1990 match with Buster Douglas. Now, shenanigans, including Tyson being convicted on a charge of rape and a brief retirement of Hollyfield, put off what many boxing fans viewed as the match of a lifetime. But after both made a comeback, and a date was set for November 9th, 1996, dubbed finally, as finally, the two legitimate tough guys would fight. But this is about Hollyfield versus Tyson number two. It's worth noting that in the first fight, Hollyfield was firmly in control of the match, and won, though there were several headbutts, even though dubbed accidental, that made it controversial. I want you to remember that. The match I'm talking about took place on June 28, 1997, and is nicknamed the Bite Fight for a good reason. Coming off the loss in a somewhat controversial fashion, as you can imagine, Tyson was angry. The rematch started much the same as the first, but the second round changed the fight for the worse. Less than a minute into the second round, a headbutt was delivered from Hollyfield to Tyson. Despite it also being ruled as accidental, Tyson was fed up, and things got much more violent. At the end of the third round, Tyson rolled out of a cinch and bit hard on Hollyfield's right ear, tearing an inch of it off and spitting it on the ground. Though Tyson maintains the damage was due to a punch to the ear, it was clear that that just wasn't the case. After a few minutes of decision making, the match was allowed to continue with a penalty on Tyson, but that didn't stop him from biting the other ear the first chance he got. This resulted in a controversial ending and a loss for Mike Tyson due to disqualification. What was supposed to be an extremely important match was polarizing and Mike Tyson was fined $3 million and his boxing license was revoked due to the disqualification. Luckily though, years after being retired from boxing, both of them managed to make up and are now close friends. However, that fateful day on June 28, 1997, will remain the most infamous boxing match to ever take place. Thank you for watching, and thanks for the overflowing support. I hope to see you again next time for another random event in history.